now we are on the question case study question three right case study based question three based on the chapter carbon's compound now as you can see the matter is given over here that you can read uh, first you can pause and read the question but then i'll straight away and begin with writing the question so first uh, the first question here is this right this is based on functional group as you can see uh, the matter is also about the functional group so if i see the first question here what is it it says uh, which of the following sets compounds have the same molecular formula so very important question now it is butane and isobutane so you should know the structure of butane what is butane here with four carbon atom in a straight chain and bonded with a single bond between carbon carbon and as you can see that if i put hydrogen to on every unsatisfied valencies of carbon what i am getting c4h and how many h 10 right so this is this is butane right and what is isobutane isobutane structure as will be like this like keeping three carbon atom in a straight chain and branching the four carbon atom Right. So if you put hydrogen over here, over put hydrogen over here, and do the back counting, do the back counting for the number of hydrogen you are figure you will figure out that it is also C4H10. So they are isomers. But do not be so in haste to judge the answer. Let me show you as I have already read the question. When I read the second part, it says cyclohexane and hexane so let's figure out what is cyclohexane uh, for cyclohexane you know there are six carbon atoms cyclo word also has actually come from the cyclic chain right that's from the form of a ring so i first attach six carbon atom in a ring chain and as you know that this carbon has two unsatisfied valences so two hydrogen over here same here that is two two hydrogen two more bond spaces there Two hydrogen added over here plus two and plus two now check if you write down the uh, molecular formula it is coming how much five six carbon and how many hydrogen is there six into two that is 12 hydrogen but then there other is what hexene and we know that the molecular formula of hexene is what c6h12 only is an unsaturated hydrocarbon you can also figure out that the general formula of hexene is cnh2n so if you plug in c uh, ns6 and h is how much two times six which is 12. so even this is correct as you can see these two compounds also have the these two compounds that means cyclohexane is this and hexene is this they have the same molecular formula but different structure so from here you must have got to know that since two of these are correct so third also must be correct as we are just looking for the compounds having same molecular formula but different structure so two examples was there but then we need to justify the other also propanol and propanol so if i make propanol propanol is what the functional group aldehyde is present CHO. So the structure I'll make, as you can see that if I make this structure, uh, in case of aldehyde, there is a double bond O and single bond H. If you can recall, functional group aldehyde is this. <clears throat> and then the remaining hydrogen is what? Okay. And then the next one is propanol, that is ketone, right? And ketone is what? Three carbon atom. It, in fact, it is the first member of uh, ketone functional group. And you should know that uh, this is the first member. Why? Because it cannot uh, be the first. The functional group cannot be first and last in this case of, in case of ketone I'm talking about. So I'll be joined with the anywhere between the first and last. Now, if I do back counting, to find the number of hydrogen although that's not a convention of writing the molecular formula as we have been taught in class 10 i just count the number of carbon there are how many three carbon hydrogen one two three four five six 
and one oxygen. Same, I'm going to do back counting here. Carbon, I can see three and hydrogen, three plus three, six and one oxygen. So check here. This also is a functional group. So this question actually can come like this. They may ask you, give this formula and they will ask you that what are the possible structure for this? Now I've uh, taken the first, let's begin with the next one. The second question is this, in order to form branching, an organic compound have minimum of what? As you know that branching, let's say if I have to do branching, I cannot do branching with the first carbon atom, right? And first and last, right? It cannot be branched with the first. So for a branch branching, I need minimum three carbon atom in a straight chain. Minimum I'm talking about. Therefore, since I have to branch one branch and attach a carbon, I can see that minimum of number of carbon is how much? Three plus one, four. So the correct option in this case should be what? The option A, right? Minimum four carbon atom should be needed. Now let's see if I type, type the next one. The third part over here is what? The third question of this is, which of the following is an isomeric pair? Okay, so isomeric pair is isomers only. Uh, it's ethane and propane, definitely not. Why? Because ethane and propane belongs to the same functional group, right? Then if I check for the next one, it's ethane and ethene. It also cannot be because they are of different functional group and different structure, not only just functional group and different molecular formula that is more important. Right, you should be knowing that ethane is what? C2H, uh, how much it is? Six, right? And propane is C3H, six plus two, eight. So likewise, now if I check for the third part, propane and butane, again, propane and butane cannot be because they belongs to the same functional groups, different uh, molecular formula. And for isomer, they must be having the same molecular formula, different structure. Well, anyways, all of you must be getting that it must be this butane and methyl propane, right? Two methyl propane. So this is basically, this is butane. I think I've already made this structure for butane, right? This was the structure of butane and methyl butane is this. Isobutane is the uh, two methyl butane is isobutane only. So you can see that this will be the correct answer in this case. Now, now in the fourth part, what is that question here? It says the number of isomers of pentane. Well, you should know that uh, pentane will have many, how many structures? That's three or four. Let's figure out. For pentane, first I'll write uh, five carbon atom in a straight chain, right? I'm not writing hydrogen as it is understood from the structure. This is one possible structure. The second possible structure will be what? Bonding, branching with this carbon that is second. This is the third possible structure, sorry, second. And the third possible structure is what? Keeping three carbon atom in a straight chain and branching with this carbon only, right? As you can see that branching cannot take place with the first and last. So we'll say that these are three. Now, uh, something that comes to the student's mind that why cannot we branch with if I branch with this, isn't it going to be a new uh, isomers? Definitely not. Because if you name it the uh, from left to right, this is branching from second. And if you, uh, if you read it from right to left, it is again from the second. So if you have done the nomenclature, it's very easy to understand that this structure and the structure and the other one which I have shown, are same. So anyway, we just have to count the numbers. So this is one, this is second, and this is third. So there are three possible structures for pentane. 